All right, Fugitive. Oh, good, you slipped in on it. Stand by 1010, investigative reported disturbance at Acer Plaza. 10 for dispatcher, verify address. It's Acer Plaza, repeat, Acer Plaza. Shots fired on the rooftop. An assault in progress at Acer Plaza. Repeat, an assault in progress. Shot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger, and then it was over. To make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the night the pain started. Part one, the American dream. I was still on the force back then. NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See, Alex? You're still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. The sun setting on a sweet summer's day, the smell of freshly mowed lawns, the sounds of children playing, a house across the river on the Jersey side, a beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. Michelle, honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. They'd give me the best seat in the house, front row center. What the hell? Listen, someone's broken into my house. Call 911. Is this the Payne residence? Yes, someone's broken into my house. They're still here. You have to- Good. I'm afraid I cannot help you. Who is this? Hello? Oh my 
God. No, 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 God, no, please, Michelle. Oh, baby. ago, everything ripped apart in a New York minute. The killer junkies had been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr, V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. Yeah. I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA. The only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. BB here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lapino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street station. I hadn't had a face to face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. <laughs> yes. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point-blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. My Beretta stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station, and Alex. The station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. Oh, fuck. Osco Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. Pills would ease the pain. Wasn't Jake supposed to take care of this? He and Mickey are having to. Hey, yeah! Uh... Ah! What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Can you? A fucking deagle? It's the devs. That's pretty neat. Yo, guys. Yo, guys. Hey, we're getting around. What the? Ah! <laughs> Yo, guys. Damn it, and he had ammo. Security panel let out a mocking cackle. I'd need the right code. True, true. You said. Hey, you oh! Oh! I'm looking for Alex 
Folks say it ended up in the middle of a big-time crime operation. Kiss it good. No, no. Oh. You saved me. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appeared from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. Can I shoot this thing? Home free. This way. Do hey, it. Yeah. Uh. yeah. Kind of assumed that would happen. A little. Got him down. train lit up like a Christmas tree. The power was back on. Also, you must remember that this is a place to be. Hey. So, the reason it looks so bad is because it's an older game. It's a very old game, actually. Hold on, let me, uh, let me give you the date on when this bitch came out. The rusty door led to an abandoned part of the station, closed off since the early 40s. Something big was going down at Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. One way or the other, I was gonna find out. 2001, by the way, is when this game came out. One way or another. True. Hold it. Oh. So it's uh it's quite fucking old. I saw when it came out. I saw hey. yeah, I saw the movie when it came out in 2008. Ah. I think I still have the movie actually. Ah. I I think yeah, I used to watch the movie all the time. This way. But yeah. Good movie. They were supposed to make a second one, but it got canceled. Like Lapino. Now that's spooky. 
Jack Lapino. Yeah. But yeah, older game, so you gotta give it some slack. <laughs> what I might do is do a chapter, or do a, yeah, do a, a game, or not like a full game. Hold on here, give me the detonator. What are you, I saw! Welded shut ages ago, and the bomb was missing a detonator. Yes. Okay, fellas, the police are on their way. New York. from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. bank robbers had left their tools on the table. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. The bank robbers score land. The bank robbers have been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. Frame rate hit hard, but yeah, as soon as Grow Home uploads, tell me. Hold it, Max. Jeez. 
Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, am I glad to see you? What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery. A tunnel job straight through the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why... This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? Yep, yep. You sure know how to pick a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... Alex! No! Alex! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. I guess when part one's over, I'll stop. Mm. Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors, cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Painted a max. You're killing me. Do you make that up yourselves, or you get some wino downstairs to come up with it? Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad plan? The don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he said bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. Cane in the butt. <laughs> Painted a map. Junk squad pig. Got a ticket of Marble City for you. Be first and lying down. We get it. Oh, somebody knew who I was. A letter on the desk caught my eye. A letter? Oh. Bosses! Everything all right? Bosses! Joey! Actually, I had met Lupino you only it. once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right-hand man, Vinny Gagniti. Gagniti was a high-strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped Energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words, quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up or you're finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security, locked doors, and lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Soze, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313, 
The Finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Vigilio, you're right in there. They're not answering. Call the others. Tell them to come quick. Okay, but we can't wait for them. We gotta go in now. Bosses, we're coming in. There he is. Getting out was not going to be easy. The staircase was locked and the elevator had been busted for a decade or more. Junkies could go off without a warning. I had to be careful. From the very first moment we met, upon that distant forest path, there has been sunlight and autumn leaves blazing with the colors of your. There he is! <laughs> Who the fuck wants to get fucked? Ah! Crap. Ah! You pop it, pop it! Pop it! against the nightmare drug Valkyr took a turn for the worse, as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shots had been fired, and the NYPD is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the weather. The worst winter storm in recorded history continues. <laughs> this party had been dead for a while. I couldn't say I was sorry I'd missed the show.
I found Muerte's room. Muerte had received a letter. Our investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. It was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. We need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. game like if if I go forward you're gonna go like left I, what, yeah. I don't know oh wow that's a hell of a fuck this Found Muerte's room. Muerte had received a letter. This is the second time this shit has done this. Oh my god. It's like I can't ease myself out onto the ledge. The end. The end. I'm gonna hurt you. Oh. I found more to his room. Morte had received. Morte had received a letter, an anonymous letter. A letter from the Don himself. here. It was not a pretty sight. Oh, look! I didn't even realize. Buff! It's Buffy the Vampire Slayer! That's an Easter egg! I found an Easter egg! Enjoy that Easter egg.
Joker had left her diary on the table. Really? A hooker? Yikes. The diary belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. The read would have made a vice cop blush. Had talks with the mystery hag over the phone again. Sent to the latest one-eyed Alfred tape. As long as the hag keeps paying for the tapes, the old man could come every day for all I care. She had a nice sideline, making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. They would get her killed if her V-fix for the day didn't do it first. Damn. It's fucked up, dog. That's cool as shit. Jenny Dawn. Oh, here's her. Hello? Alright, that's where the one guy was. Alright, cool. This way. Oh! Let me see. Miss Elevate. Winter storm warning is in effect in the whole tri-state area as both freezing rain and heavy snowfall continue. Many roadways are already closed and people are advised to stay indoors. The severe blizzard has ravaged New York for three days now with no end in sight. We've been snowed from the start in the Valkyr case. The forecast said there was plenty more where that had come from. But the snowbound city was on my side. Less chance of innocent bystanders getting caught in the crossfire. This is America. Don't get it confused. <coughs> oh. man tied to a chair lay on the boiler room floor. Captain Baseball Bat Boy has an unbeatable track record in superhero death matches. <laughs> but a six pack of root beer gets me every time. The murder weapon was a baseball bat, now lying in a pool of drying blood next to a newspaper folded open on a Captain Baseball Bat Boy comic strip. Captain Baseball. Take vampire movies. Why are they always set there? Oh, oh, oh. Pump it. Pump it. Ah. It's an America. Whoa, whoa. Don't get a good feeling. Trust me, you don't want to piss me where they are. Gentlemen, let's do business. Green for green. Cheers at green eyed angels. Amen.
<laughs> a lifetime ago, this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. The transparent cylinders glowed green, full of Valkyr. Valkyr. It was money. dirty money. Oh God, yes. I. Who wants it next? You? What? So eight's the max. Ugh. I guess I gotta leave, huh? I couldn't get past the door without a key. Well, who's got the, the key, shit dick? Big ass key. Wah, 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 wah. All right, rest of the game. I'm using a baseball bat. Nothing else. Two mad dog killers ready to murder each other. They step into the next room, and I'm thinking, now they're gonna do it. Mmm. Mm. But oh, no. she's sucking his dick. They sit down in front of a TV <laughs> and solve their differences with a kung fu fighting video game. Oh, that's Candy fucking I tell you, face. Candy, I was so depressed, I strangled them both with the video game cables. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I am, ain't I? Oh. <laughs> the sound effects were whack. Rico Muerte, big time hustler. Who it's the that hell? Cop. It's that cop. Muerte went for his gun. I shot him in the titty. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's pain. Pig. Bitch. Ah. Bro, bitch. Ah. You want some too? Ah. <laughs> his pants oh. are down. <laughs> It's fucking pants or <laughs> Best game ever, 10 out of 10. Rico went for his gun. Rico had his pants down. Looks like I caught Rico with his pants down. Thought I was off my aviators. Ow! Dun, 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 dun. Get him! Whoa, 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 whoa! What up, bitch? Yeah! Yeah, yeah! <laughs> the antiques. Oh, this is like the shit for phones? Like you plug it in? Right? right. There's an old telephone switchboard yeah. in the back room of the reception area. The kind that made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines. Dude, I'd love blood to veins of New York. Right now, there was a different set of moans and groans going on. From us, Cornelius, this makes pain. He came, started capitalist. He killed him. Are you freaking kidding me? This is one. Board was still in use. Absolutely love this. Yeah. Oh, I guess I gotta shoot it, huh? 
You want some dick? Yay! Fuck this! Welcome to New York! Doors were locked. My dust was tight. Oh! The man riding shotgun. Let's just hope they're actually not riding shotgun and they just have a shotgun, you know, you know, yeah, yeah, hopefully. Turn around, walk away, blow town. That would have been the smart thing to do. Guess I wasn't that smart. Lupino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze. A liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me, but they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were going to get real trigger happy about it. I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the fly in Don Punchinello's suit. <laughs> the ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. exploded inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be taken inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. I need to get in there. Oh, there's the car that blew up. I don't know, man. Sweet! Back with sweet! Uh. What the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah! Yeah! What's up, man? The headlines were a depressing read. The headlines? The headlines were It was all a scream when you were down for the count and wanted for murder.
I might need something more sinister. Anal. That's pretty sinister. The whole building was rigged with explosives. Oh, good thing I kept moving, am I right? Open up! <laughs> Want. A beaten up phone in the entrance hall was ringing. It could have been just a junkie in need of a fix, but it turned out to be something more sinister than that. Am I speaking to Mr. Payne? Who wants to know? My name is Alfred Wooden. You must hurry. The police are on their way. Tell me something I don't know. They know you're there. How? And what's it to you? I will contact you again. The cops arrived, sirens singing in the off-key harmony of a manic depressive choir. I had a few minutes while the SWAT team would go through their usual routine. By the time they busted in, I needed to be long gone. Max Payne, this is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. What's up, Domain? Eh? Ice! Jesus Christ, that was loud. Someone had left a letter on the couch. There was a key on the shelf. Staircase key. Suddenly it all made sense. The bombs, the Russian mob boss making an appearance in person. Gogniti was his usual self, all tall. <laughs>
What the f- I don't know if he dropped a grenade or he like died with it. is safe MC no <laughs> not even a death just a bum uh. bum watch your grenade's gonna hit the wall it hit. Oh. Alternate route. <sighs> the bombs had destroyed all. Uh, yep. The alternate route led there by way of adjoining rooftops. It's never been this cold. Never ever. It's like the sky's falling. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> wants to get fucked to get to the roof I'd need to get to the elevator through the locked door up ahead which means I need a key which was this way <gasps> I think I died <laughs> You know the clowns at the laundry? Me? No. You're no good to me then. What? No, no, no. The laundry. Yeah. I know him. Yeah. Get me in there. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Or I beat you with bat. A one man war. A one man with a bat war. It's me. Open up. Let me in quick. Not so fast. The password. John Wool. Come on. Okay, John Wool. All right. Come right in. It's a trap! It's the in! Oh. Oh. Yeah, 
New York City is in crisis tonight, with reports of Valkyrie-related gang war in the streets of the Bronx. Apparently, Max Payne, wanted for questioning in connection with the slaying of a DEA special agent earlier tonight, is waging a one-man war against his former partners in crime. Among the list of casualties so far are notorious Mafia members Joey and Virgilio Finito. Are dead! like I got. No, fear that gives men wings. The Valkyr. You take it, and it's supposed to give you. It's not supposed to give you wings, but you assume that you're a god at that point. You're like, Ooh -hoo. Then he got needy. Just the Pain. man I've been killing to see. Pain? Freaking fed! I knew from day one there was something screwy about you. What do you think you're doing? You're a freaking cop. You ain't got squat on us. You can't just come in here waving your piece like it meant something. I made like cherry on fat. <laughs> what the fuck, Richard? I didn't have time to pull out my baseball bat. And I couldn't I couldn't slow down time fast enough either, because they just wait. <laughs> It's go time. Do 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 do. Ah! Ha! Ah! A crumpled. A crumpled butthole. The letter was addressed to Don Punchinello, but Vinny had never lay on Gagniti's desk. <laughs> Vinny Gagniti was really scared. He could run, but with a bullet in the stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. 
He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Cogniti would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that... Oh my god, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, at two on that. Ah! Ah! Get ah! A crumpled letter lay on Gagnetti's desk. <laughs> Vinny Gagnetti was a little scared. He could run, but with a bullet in his stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Cogniti would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. Cogniti hitched a ride. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. Do 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 do. <laughs> I hate this game. Yo, what does watermelon taste like? Dead ass beef. Oh, don't put me back in the start. I hate those guys. God damn it! Come on, pull it out. <laughs> I was gonna pull a little whip. I thought I brought it all in cucks. There's watermelon soda and then blue raspberry soda. I don't know how I feel. Vinny got needy. Just the man I've been killing to see. Pain! Crumpled letter land. Crumpled butthole. The letter was addressed to Doug Needy's John desk. Pete Jack Lopano was a psycho. Vinny Gagnetti was not scared. He could run, but with a bullet in his stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Gagnetti would be moving Freaking fast. Dead. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. Wow! That door just closed, man. How the fuck am I supposed Got to do? hitched a ride. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. Yeah! Oh my god, oh my god! I've never been good at these action scenes. Vinny got needy.
Agnetti's desk. Vinnie Cognetti was a little scared. He could run, but with a bullet in the stomach and a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Cognetti would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. Cognetti hitched a ride. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. This was my second train ride of the night. The way it started didn't promise anything better than the last one. Freezing wind tearing at my face like sandpaper and rain. When the train he was riding slowed down, Cognetti made his move. Gets fucking smacked by the bar. No fucking way. It's a fucking tank. I can't jump like a fucking bull, man. Give me some Valkyrie and I bet I could fucking jump from a rooftop. Yep. When the train... Oh, I think I broke it. His riding slowed down. Cognito made his move. Sonic forces, Sonic suggests. Oh, 
12. Game is suggesting something. Kia! Kia! Don't ever suggest that again. Motherfucker! Watch this. It suggested this. This. On some. At two, I'm gonna go, go get some lunch, come back, and finish off uh, Grow Home.
Shut him down. for one special bitch. Ooh, that's pretty slick. I had no health going into that. I'll kill you, you lousy fucking poop. Mm. I just jumped off this side. Fucked up, man. steam in a dead-end alley with steam boiling out of the sewer grates like all the fires of hell were burning high beneath us. It was shake down time. Where's my pussy? Where's Lupino? Screw you! Bad start, Vinny. Ah! Police brutality! I rate pretty high on that. You, 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 you can't just hurt me in cold blood? Uh, just keep telling yourself that. <gasps> Listen good, candy man. I'm not gonna be anybody's fall guy. I wanna know where your boss is hiding. Did you do it? There was no glory in this. I hadn't asked for this crap. 
Trouble had come to me in big dark swarms. The good and the just were like gold dust in the city. I had no illusions. I was not one of them. I was no hero. Just me and the gun and the crook. My options had decreased to a singular course. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, just don't hurt me no more. Lupino's at Ragnarok, Rock, the nightclub. Book me, take me in the home into the freaking jail, just don't hurt me. Your rights will be read at your funeral. All right, well, I'm going to end this here. <laughs> your rights will be read at your funeral. <laughs> but I hope you can enjoy it. Because as much as I... Ragnarok was Lupino. Cool! But uh, I'm going to stop now. And uh, I'll see you guys in the, the next one. Beep, beep, bye.